Hello, my name is Bo. You might know me as the Pyman News Guy. Uh, I wanted to provide a bit of an update because I realized like it's been a long time since I've revisited the uh, Pyman News application. I've sort of just stopped updating it. And I have reasons for that. Um, but I would like to cover three things here. So first, in the past, I was very dumb. Number two, I'm less dumb now. And number three, uh, Pi Menus V2. So, I did it again. So first of all, um, the settings for the Pi Menus are now serialized in uh, JSON format, which is really nice because that means I can actually organize all that stuff. It's way better than the way I did it last time, which was literally if, here. You can see how I stored settings in the last version. So this is settings file. Yes, it's literally a text file where every bit of information is separated by line. And then each line is explicitly referenced in the script itself. Like you see file read line, line eight, and then line nine. Like, I didn't even know what a loop was when I made this. Again, on my last point, I'm less dumb now, but I was very dumb in the past. So yeah, JSON serialized settings, that's great. Next thing, we have uh, for the actual pie menus, the pie menus are now programmatically drawn as opposed to being images that were drawn on the screen. Uh, what comes with that is that I can also easily change like the number of slices in a menu. So you can see here it says uh, num slices six. We look at this, you see there's six slices on it. If I switch this to like 10, save that, run it again. Now we see we have 10 slices. And that's great. Uh, as before, um, the pie menus do still have the uh, leave and return for the second menu and then leave and circle around for the third menu. Um, you can obviously still turn these off as with the last one. You can have a lot of different settings in the different menus themselves. So let's see here. So you have pie two, uh, num slices. We're just gonna do two and then three. Now if I run this, you can see that first one I had 20, and then this one I have 2, and then the red one I have 3. So that's neat. The other thing that's really nice is that in Pi Menus V1, I only I hard-coded only one possible Pi menu. So now what you can do is you can have multiple Pi menus on the same application. So here I have a profile for Chrome. Uh, I'm going to run this again. So you can see, oh yeah, we have like this blue, this really d dark blue one. Okay, so I made the other one pink. So yeah, you can see like it has different colors and stuff. So I'm pressing R right now. I'm pressing F now, and that's a different menu. So I have two Pi menus on one profile. Ain't that spiffy. Also, uh, one issue that for whatever reason was really hard for me to figure out before was just drawing the Pi menu on um, before or above the primary monitor. Uh, that's now fixed. Uh, I can I can run the Pi menus on any monitor. Uh, I realize that this setup doesn't actually show that, but I did fix that, take my word for it. So in the previous version, I... Uh, each Pi menu for each profile was actually a separate application or script or a separate script. And there was like this, uh, a second script running in parallel that would close and then open another script, um, corresponding to the active window. So switching windows was a nightmare because it sometimes bugged out and would be weird. So now, um, all of the profiles are just loaded at once. And uh, there's only one script running, so it's just the pie menu, all the pie, all the pie menus running all the time, and it's not it doesn't take much resources at all because now this is actually optimized, like not trash, uh, because before what I used to do when I just drew the menu is I would just draw that image over and over as fast as possible. It would take a lot of graphics processing for how much it really needed. So now it only draws 
uh, it only redraws the image when you go into a new region, which, yeah, that makes it a lot faster. Uh, the other thing that that allows is it allows me to check the position of um, the mouse a bit more. So like, uh, I have one thing that, um, so kind of like clipping in a game, how if you go fast enough at a wall, um, you'll just go straight through it. Uh, I was able to take that out by just uh, drawing intermediate points between uh, the mouse position and the next mouse position. So like if for one frame, the mouse position's here, and then the next frame, the mouse position's here, then technically you cross that circle. So now um, it actually does that. So if you do it, do any really fast motions, um, it'll still read them. Like if you're passing through the circle or going around and passing through. So that's mainly for the second and third pad menus. Please let me know if you have any ideas because I would like to make this Right now is the best time for me to put in any features that I want to have down the line. I would like to take a moment to actually just kind of dump on myself for this. Seriously. Okay, this entire, not like almost 900 lines of code could be done in like maybe 100. Yeah. And that's like just by knowing how to use a for loop. That's it. It's just loading settings. I have go to's with variables in them, which if you're if you um, dabble in the programming world at all, you kind of know that using a go to is fairly frowned upon. I went full dum dum, and then the way I added functions to it was like they were all labels, and the way I passed parameters to them was through like <coughs> oh my gosh, um, attaching uh, just doing just weird regexes with strings and then using parts of that in the go-to and then it was dumb it somehow worked so you know what i'll give myself that but it didn't work well and i should i should have been ashamed of that uh so one thing i hope you get from this is that i still have the same enthusiasm about this as i did before please let me know if there's anything you'd like in this I'd like to thank Amin Abdul for sticking with the pie menus. Like, part of the only reason why I think I'm working on this is because, well, like, some people have expressed some interest in this thing. And the fact that anyone, like, even a single person cares about this at all uh, actually means a lot to me. So I really hope that to those people that I can give you something that's actually useful to you. So please let me know if there's anything I can do to make this better. Thanks for listening.